Hello, and welcome to Trains in Vietic. Today's the second part of setting up this uh, LDT light signal decoder LSDECBR-F part number 510112. So last time I showed you how to wire up the signals and showed you which signals I have gone for. Today I'm going to show you the actual board and what needs to be done. Okay, I have zoomed in on the three um, jumper pins. Each jumper pin has a different job. So the first one is the one used for programming the board. When this is in position, you can't program the board. When, you, when it's out, you can program the board. Next, we have a middle one. This is for which DCC, I mean digital protocol you're using. This is a dual protocol board. So if you're using systems such as for Markling Motorola systems, including Markling Mark Mark Digital, Markling System, Intelligent Block, uh, Easy Control, and also for ECOS, which is a multi-protocol unit, you can run a Motorola uh, digital system. If you're running any of, the Nor any of the American systems or running Lens, Zimbo, LGB or the ECOS, you can use a DCC system. So, uh, as I'm going to be using DCC, I'll be taking that pin out. The last pin, depend on if you're using common anode or con common cathode for your signals. So, you can see here, the resistors feed into the minus. Uh, this is a standard on BCO signals. So that mean, let me read the paper. It say if I use a plus, do not insert the, sig the last jumper. But as I'm using for minus, I leave the jumper in place. So I'll just set these up and then I'll plug it into the digital system. I now have the jumper set up for uh, my first programming. So the middle one is open for DCC, the end one is closed because I'm using uh, the negative as a common. And then the first one is open because it's ready for programming. Okay, as this is just a temporary setup, I have power in connected to my DCC source and my DCC source connected to the track. So, when this is permanently in place, I'm going to be having my 16 volt AC circuit feed in just there, and then digital here. It's just for ease of uh, testing and setting up. I've done it here. With an earlier discussion on resistors, I feel I'm fine leaving these resistors in because they're not over bright. So, uh, that's that bit done. Okay, I have a blue and black cable connected up to the track. My digital system is turned off. So I just turn the system on by pressing go. And you can see the signal's light lit up. So if I just quickly turn off the light, it doesn't make any difference. So if I just Turn off the light on the camera, so turn that off and turn off the main light. I still got the camera in the wrong mood, so if I press that again, you can see I've got two lights there and two lights there. So I think if I look about for correct brightness, as I don't want anything overpowering. 
so that's now that's set up the next thing I need to do is decide what sig what numbers I'm using for for signals okay I told you lot to a mistake uh, when I was setting up my jumpers the first jumper need to be in place for programming for board so I'll just quickly do that then we can start programming okay I'm going to turn on the track power and that's the signal I'm deciding to change so for instruction press I say power on your system and press a button and the the lights just start flashing which no it doesn't yes uh, yep it's safe for signals to start flashing on and off which it's doing on that one so what I need to do is press the key for the first group of four addresses so I got 950 as my uh, first signal on the track so I'm going to do 980 as my address and then it say as I'm not using for feathers I should press the green key or the C key so I press that and then that should be the first one done so it then say if it have uh, accepted it the lights go a bit faster which they are so it's now saying to press press the key so it's a press a button and for next one start flashing so I put in for the next lot of uh, four address so that will be I'll do nine eight six so I just enter that into my controller 986 which it doesn't like so I'll do 988 and then press green and that's now flashing faster now I press the button uh, one more time and now that's uh, programmed But I think I've done something wrong because it's saying all the signal should be set to danger. So I'll just try flicking through for shit for them to see what happened. So that's currently through. Aha, I now see my problem. I have completely misread the signal. So if I do that address, that should give me another change. So try another address. And I think I have misprogrammed them. So I'll try for the other one. okay i believe i have programmed it properly but i have wired it up wrongly so i'll call it a night on this and then next time i'll actually do a video where i have worked it all out and run through it with its all wired up this will be in a few weeks time but basically you've got your connectors down the side for each set of lights so you refer to the instruction manuals 
and make sure to wire it up properly which I didn't do because I'm a dim back now once you've got those done you put your DCC power in and your main power then you go back to your jumpers my jumper information was correct and they're all set up correctly it's just an actual wiring for the signals which I completely mucked up so once I got this project working I'll do another video but the board's working how it should do it's just me not wiring properly so I'll see you next time